Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today for something fun. Exciting instant hair. This is my Carrie La Vivid wig and the wig people were so great and they sent it to me and I really, really like it. It's just lots of fun. It's called the Carrie and it's in the color Almond Frost and although it's not real hair, it really feels like it is. And you know, this is amazing. This is absolutely the kind of real hair I would love to have. Um, I chose the color Almond Frost because of the two blondes. This was the darkest blonde and you can see it has a lot of variation of color, but it's a little darker. And the other blonde they had was more of a, I call it Playboy Bunny Blonde, but it was more of a platinum blonde. And I just never ever like it when my hair is that color. So I decided to go with this slightly darker blonde color called Almond Frost. And I'll show it to you in the back. Here it is in the back. And it kind of has a nice kind of a 60s bubble look. I hope it looks okay there. I can't really see it. Um, but there it is from the side. You can kind of see how it looks. And it just looks like real hair. And it really feels like real hair. It's really rather an amazing wig. And it's only $158. And they gave me a discount code for my viewers. I don't make anything on the wig. But you do get 10% off with free shipping here in the U.S. The wonderful thing about this wig is it really does look natural. So let me tell you what you get if you order a carry wig. First, it comes in a nice little box like this, and it's all wrapped up very nicely, but it comes in here and it has a little thing that the wig is on to kind of keep its shape. And then it gives you a little weaving cap, they call it, but that is the little cap to put your hair up in. And as you know, I have kind of long hair, but I did not use the cap. I just felt more comfortable without the cap on, and it worked out just fine. I just clipped my hair up. And the way to make it look really natural is to blend it with your own hair because this hair here is actually my own hair and I think quite a bit of it down here some of that is my hair too and so I just kind of you know mix it with my own hair this little bump here is largely my own hair with a little bit of the wig thrown in and you all have been asking how to style the bump <laughs> and it's so funny because you guys called it the bump I had several people say hey how do you style the bump <laughs> and actually the bump is just something I do to try to give myself a little bit of height on the top but I will take it out I've got the bump in here so I'll, I'll take this time to show you how I style the bump but basically the bump is just one of these little cheapy hair combs that you buy in a set of six or whatever from Walmart and they come in different colors but I just kind of take it and I just clip the hair up just kind of I don't really clip it up but I just kind of put it back here and then I stick that comb in and uh, just style the bump. <laughs> I guess you'd call it Beth's bump. <laughs> that is just the weirdest thing. I will go ahead and take the bump out so you can get a better sense of the wig because you can bump it. And I've seen some girls here on internet, you know, take that back in like a little ponytail right there. You know, they'll take, you know, more of their own hair and ponytail it up. That kind of has a 60s look to it, I think, which I think is really nice. Or you can just kind of let it be as it is. Let's see. They sent a little brush with it too. You do get a little brush, a little wig brush. However, I've been using my normal brush and I think it works just fine with it. Probably a little bit better than the wig brush. So then you just pull your own hair into it. Some women will go ahead and have bangs cut if they want bangs or a little bit shorter bangs out here. And I've even seen some women on the internet go ahead and get it cut a little shorter, which quite honestly, I would probably cut it a little shorter. I feel a little bit like an aging Lady Godiva here. All I need is, you know, a nude suit and vines. <laughs> and I think this would be a great Halloween costume, actually. And you know, this brings to mind something really fun that my husband and I did years ago. It was probably 15 years ago. And I actually somewhere still have the wig, but I got myself a long brunette wig and I decided I would spice things up. And ladies, you can do this with something like this. This is a great spice things up kind of a wig. And in fact, I think tonight my husband and I are going to go out and I'm actually going to wear the wig. But what we did 15 years ago is that I got this brunette wig. I did not tell him I did it. And I went to Margarita's, this local club, and you know, I told him to meet me there. And so I, I got the brown wig on and I did very dramatic makeup, kind of like, you know, sexy makeup. And I had a short skirt on and high heels and a very tight little sweater. And I called my husband and I told him I was some other name. I can't remember who I used, what name I used, but I told him to meet me at Margarita's. And it was kind of like I wasn't his wife. I was just some sexy brunette woman. 
And so I went there about maybe 20, 30 minutes early, which was a little bit of a mistake because I think I looked a little bit like a hooker. Men were eyeing me strangely and women were looking at me even more strangely. So I was a little bit embarrassed. But finally, my husband did come and we kind of did a little role play and I was this sexy brunette woman and he was this businessman and well, you get the rest of the thing. I won't, I won't go into any details, but that is something fun that you could do with these wigs. You know, even if you think you wouldn't wear them like on a daily basis, it is kind of fun to every now and then spice things up and be a little bit wild. I have to say though, I think that this wig is just a wonderful thing if you want to just look a little better than you normally do because I definitely do not look as good in real life as I do in this wig. So if you'd like more information on the Carrie wig from La Vivid, it is down in the description box below. Just take a look at that. And again, there's a code to get 10% off. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. Normally, they're not so wild and fun as this one. They're about makeup and skincare for women 40, 50, 60, 70, and above. Now, I always like to finish my videos with a little thought for the day. And even though I look a little different, inside I'm still the same girl. Wah! I'm dropping things all over the floor. I'm still the same clumsy girl. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card and a thought for the day. This one feels good. Oh, this is a good one for me. Waiting patiently. Waiting patiently. Oh my. Ladies, you don't know how difficult it is for me to be patient, so this is a great card for me. Today I will wait patiently if waiting is the action I need in order to take care of myself. I know that I'm taking positive, forceful action by waiting until the time is right. God, help me to let go of my fear, urgency, and my panic. Help me learn the art of waiting. Oh my, this is a fabulous card, ladies. In my first half, I just hurried through life. I could hardly wait till the next step. And you know, I lost a lot of happiness in that way. In the second half, I hope I'll learn to wait patiently and to appreciate that good things take time. Sometimes actions do need to be taken right away, but in many cases, we need to learn to wait patiently either for the outcome or for the right solution to come to us. So ladies, we need to learn the difference between a situation where action is immediately called for and a situation where patient waiting is the best thing to do. When we do that, we can have a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.